So welcome back to the bus restoration part two and as you can see I'm upstairs here um, on the bus and uh, doing a lot of paneling and insulation work and you can see the electrics are also in there now and pulling all the cabling and the wiring to make sure that I've got everything that I need is in place. I also have to create this mezzanine area because obviously I, I cut the center of the bus out and then I wanted to have this nice mezzanine that you could look down on, uh, down into the kitchen and into, the, into that living space below. So that's what I did um, there. It gave this lovely vaulted feel uh, on the bus. Plenty of headroom downstairs when you're at the, at the sink or the cooker. And it just gave this amazing space that you could look up in, into the upstairs and it's just a fantastic sense of a dimension of the of the height of the bus and moving downstairs i needed obviously to create an area where i would have a shower and toilet indoors so i had to start working on that and, and building that little room and obviously for maximum space i installed a sliding door nice sliding door which obviously slides back and forth and, and keeps this because the space is quite narrow there as you can see so that little sliding door worked out very well indeed so then of course between that little room i created for the shower and the toilet i had a nice space to put in a nice kitchen sink and nice belfast sink and some units in that area which and then you have a nice window there that looks out over the over the garden and the surrounding hills so then it was a case of building up the, the units and inserting the Belfast sink into it and varnishing up all the, the worktops and getting those all in order, making sure I had all my fittings and everything that I needed in. And obviously then uh, fit my doors, which I think are very nice, and my knobs and things. So that little area really turned out fantastic. And of course the flooring I used was a, was a laminate. Uh, a very tough hard wearing laminate with a very nice rustic feel and also along with that I, I used some oak flooring in the bus. After doing all that then I had to turn my attentions to the back of the bus and to create this this area where I wanted people to be able to sit uh, I call it the, the wraparound at the back where there's a little wood burning stove and everything. So of course I had to start building all that up and put my mind into thinking about how I was going to do it and how I was going to create that area. And I wanted a double bed to be put in that area as well. So I had to come up with some sort of plan where I could be able to, to take the cushions off and open a platform to create that double bed and I have to say this area turned out very well so I'll be showing you that now in a while. So also in that very same area, in that wraparound area, I wanted to create a an area where there would be uh, a nice wood burning stove so you can see the little seven kilowatt stove that I, I've just installed there and I had some of these old Chinese slate that I used. Now it's very important to say there's a huge amount of heat coming off that so behind the slate I did have to put a, a heat retaining board uh, it's a pink board so it's heat resistant and fire resistant which is important uh, for that area the next most important thing I felt to do was to get some lighting in to get the lighting connected where I could get the lights on and of course by doing that that really enabled me to work late into the night and in fact work <laughs> into the early morning sometimes but I could see uh, that all this hard work was, was starting to pay off. And this bus that once traveled around the streets of London for 25 years and then to Dublin where it used to ferry school kids around was now beginning to be transformed. And I could see the, the labors of my fruits uh, were beginning to show and this bus was becoming something unique indeed. So guys, I'm gonna leave it there and uh, Hope you've been enjoying the, the restoration so far and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon for part three of the Wild Atlantic Bus Restoration. Bye for now, take care of yourselves and look after one another.